Hello, and welcome to our tiny house. Come to the front door here. First feature is a blind inside the door. You can go all the way up. Get a nice view of the outside, let more sunlight in. Plenty of sunlight in this place. Slide back down. And you can also adjust it closed. Close the other way, right in the middle, or wherever you'd like. So here's our living room space. Let me back up here. Uh, it fits a three-seater couch, about 75, 78 inches uh, from here to the other corner of the wall there, likewise here. Uh, or you can also fit this direction here, three-seater couch. Uh, this space in the middle is what we use for our closet. Uh, we had a two-door uh, cabinet here and some storage shelving below and above. That is around 12 or 13 feet uh, here. And with the vaulted ceiling, you actually get a nice uh, feel for uh, the height in here. Um, again, big, big windows. Let light in wherever we can. Put that through there. Perfect. And we have these floating shelves here. As you see, these are all hard mounted, uh, likewise in the kitchen. Uh, these are all hard mounted. That's not going anywhere. Uh, we have connections and outlets um, everywhere, including in the closet space there. Uh, mounts for a TV. Uh, this will fit up to, or at least underneath the shelf there. Uh, I think that is either a 65, maybe even a 70 inch television. Um, right before we moved, we ended up uh, putting a smaller uh, 32 inch, I believe, in that space. So, uh, and let's go into the kitchen. So we have our plenty of under the counter space. This is a quartz countertop, nice and sturdy. Uh, and as you'll see here, I've actually got an outlet set. There we go. So we have uh, USB connections along with the uh, two regular wall outlets. Push that back in, goes all the way down, completely out of your way, have all the space on the counter for you. So we have in here where we had our food pantry, uh, along with the extra storage underneath the stairs. We got one, two, three little cubbies. They go all the way down into there. So you've got all the space in here and then down there, all the way to the bottom of the stairs. We have under our sink, got it there. There we go. And these are all soft clothes. Every single one of these. Soft clothes, nice. Uh, space for your microwave uh, or your toaster oven. Um, a lot of space so you can fit a big one in there. Uh, and likewise, some extra storage, or if you feel like putting something else in there, you can. Um, there's enough space toward the back, um, that little gap in the back there, um, that'll connect to uh, the outlet. So you can have something in the top and the bottom, if you wish. Uh, here is the uh, gas range. Uh, it is a match start. So we've got this little lighter. Uh, works quite nicely. And then we have our range hood here uh, that does have an external exhaust. So it's not just a fan that circulates the air and actually gets that up and out of the house, which is super nice. And we've got our very nice uh, spacious fridge and freezer uh, top and bottom. Comes with the house. Check the inside there. There it is as well. Over on this side, we have some additional showing. You are free to take those off, leave those, whatever you'd like. Same thing with the pantry space. Uh, but this was the study area and the little desk. And we have a nice size window here. 
can open up, let some sunlight in. Nice study day, a little reading nook. Really nice. So come through this door. Oh, let's get actually a full, full view from here. Kitchen. There's the kitchen. There we go. So we'll go through this door into the bathroom and shower room. Doors inside are all sliding doors. They're here. Got some storage space, a linen uh, closet, because there's not a door. But you can store your linens there. We have the hookups, uh, hot and cold, and the dryer vent uh, for a uh, washing machine uh, dryer. So there's plenty of space. You can have a full stack here if you wish. Uh, the hookup's there for it, perfectly fine. Um, there's the mount uh, that if you wish to move it at all, you can use that, tie it all off so it doesn't move anywhere. Uh, this shelf as well comes right out. You can take that off if you want, uh, or depending on the size of the washer and dryer you have, you keep that there as some extra storage. Um, this is the uh, humidity fan. Uh, it is set to, I believe, 50% uh, humidity. Uh, it'll cut on automatically, uh, but you can also turn it on and off. Uh, it is on a timer, so it won't continuously run and run and run. Um, that turns that little guy there and come take a shower. All good to go. Uh, some racks for your towels. And, uh, oh, yes, uh, all of the lights in this house uh, are on these flip switches, but they're also on a dimmer. Oh, yeah, all the way off every way you like it. In our bathroom here, a toilet. Uh, there is an outlet uh, if you wish to uh, have a bidet. You can plug that in right there. Easy access. Here's the bathroom vanity. We've got some more storage back in here. Uh, this sets the temperature of your on-demand water heater. Very nice. Got some storage under here. Plenty of storage underneath. That is the on-demand water heater itself, uh, hooked up to your propane. Uh, so that doesn't, uh, that's the only other thing that uses the propane other than the uh, range. Uh, we have a nice tall shower. I am 6'3", and I fit in here just fine. Now let's go with that. Oh, yeah, and a lock uh, for the door. And that's the privacy. And have a mirror. Look at that. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Lights on there, perfect. Again, oh, let's see. All of the dimmer switches. All the way down. Likewise, living room, set the mood. Or don't set the mood. Up here. One of the first features, uh, this extra long step here uh, is for the top when you're uh, getting ready in the morning, if you wanna put your shoes down here, uh, plenty of space to actually sit completely upright because part of the vaulted ceiling that goes down that way also goes widthwise. So you can sit up, have plenty of head space. Again, I am 6'3", I have no problem whatsoever uh, sitting upright uh, in the bed space loft. So the uh, master bedroom, if you want to call it that, uh, fits a queen size bed nicely. Um, you have the headboard either here or on this side, which is a good chance to tell you about the extra storage we have. Tiny house, gotta have storage. Uh, this fits uh, with some room to spare, uh, a full 88 key piano, um, you can also use it for books, magazines, whatever you'd like. We have, again, more switches here. Everything is on a dimmer, nice and bright. More outlets here, outlets there, outlets there. Got plenty of outlets. Now we'll go to the back room. Slide this door. Oh, and you have a whole extra room in here. Again, light switch on a dimmer. More outlets. 
got this space here. Uh, this will fit um, width-wise, will fit either a twin or a full, whichever one is the biggest uh, out of the two, with room to spare. And you also have an extra little nook here uh, in the same place on the second floor um, as the uh, vanity is uh, downstairs in the bathroom. That is the back of the house, nice porthole window. So at the very least, even in the back room, you still get plenty of natural light coming in. So we'll close this again. Have some privacy. Tiny house, that is necessary. That's overlooking on the bedroom space. Over to the living room here. Actually, move this way. Here is overlooking. This is your balcony. You have your mini split uh, heating and air. Uh, we lived in Florida, kept it nice and cool, and kept us nice and warm, even on those 30, 20 degree days. Super, super great. And again, that doesn't run off the propane, that's just electricity. There is the closet. Uh, well, the, the main closet uh, nook space on the other side of the house. There's your fire detector, uh, gas detector, gas leaks. Um, or if there is one, there's a detector for that as well. That is all good to go. That is our tiny home.